The year is 1842, in the heart of Central Asia, two British officers find themselves in a desperate situation. Charles Stoddart and Arthur Connolly are prisoners. They are held captive in a squalid dungeon in the Emirate of Bukhara. The Emir Nasrullah Khan is a ruthless and unpredictable ruler. He is suspicious of the British. He believes they are plotting against him. Stoddart and Connolly are accused of espionage. Their pleas of innocence fall on deaf ears. The Emir subjects them to horrific treatment. They endure months of torture and deprivation. Hope dwindles with each passing day. The once proud officers are now broken men. They await their fate with grim resignation. On a hot summer's day, Stoddart and Connolly are dragged from their cell. They are taken to the public square outside the Emir's palace. A crowd gathers to witness the spectacle. The Emir watches from his balcony. His eyes are cold and unforgiving. With a nod of his head, the executioner steps forward. Stoddart and Connolly meet their end. Their death send shockwaves through British society. Charles Stoddart was a soldier and a diplomat. He was a man of action and conviction. In 1838, he was sent on a mission to Bokhara. His orders were to secure the release of Russian slaves. The British were concerned about Russian influence in Central Asia. They saw the Emirate of Bokhara as a key player in the region. Stoddart was tasked with winning over the Emir. Stoddart's mission was fraught with danger. Bokhara was a remote and unforgiving land. The Emir was known for his cruelty and his suspicion of foreigners. Stoddart was undeterred. He was confident in his abilities. He believed he could reason with the Emir. He was wrong. Stoddart arrived in Bokhara and was granted an audience with the Emir. He presented the Emir with gifts and conveyed his request. The Emir was not impressed. He saw Stoddart as an intruder. He accused him of being a Russian spy. Stoddart was arrested and thrown into prison. His mission had ended in disaster. Arthur Connolly was a British officer and adventurer. He was known for his courage and his sense of duty. When he heard of Stoddart's plight, he was determined to rescue him. Connolly had traveled extensively in Central Asia. He was familiar with the customs and languages of the region. He believed he could negotiate Stoddart's release. In 1841, Connolly arrived in Bokhara. He carried with him a letter from the British government. The letter pleaded for Stoddart's release. Connolly was granted an audience with the Emir. He presented the letter and made a passionate plea for his friend's life. The Emir listened intently, but his mind was already made up. The Emir accused Connolly of being a British spy. He was arrested and imprisoned alongside Stoddart. The two men were now trapped. Their hopes of freedom seemed to vanish. Connolly's valiant attempt to rescue Stoddart had failed. Section 4, The Great Game, A Clash of Empires. The capture and execution of Stoddart and Connolly took place against the backdrop of a much larger struggle. This was the Great Game. It was a geopolitical rivalry between the British and Russian empires. The prize was control of Central Asia. The British feared Russian expansion. They worried that Russia would use Central Asia as a springboard to invade India. India was the jewel in the crown of the British Empire. The British were determined to protect it at all costs. The Russians were also eager to expand their influence. They saw Central Asia as a source of raw materials and a market for their goods. They were also driven by a desire to weaken the British Empire. The Great Game was a complex and dangerous game of chess. Central Asia has always been a crossroads of cultures and empires. It is a vast region of deserts, mountains and steppes. For centuries it has been home to nomadic tribes and powerful empires. In the 19th century, Central Asia became a focal point of the Great Game. The British and Russian empires both sought to control Central Asia. They used a variety of methods to achieve their goals. Diplomacy, espionage and military force were all employed. The local rulers of Central Asia were often caught in the middle. The Great Game had a profound impact on Central Asia. It led to the redrawing of borders and the fall of ancient kingdoms. It also left a legacy of mistrust and instability. The Great Game cast a long shadow over the region.